You can expect these superstars to put their bodies on the line to take each other down. These superstars have waited a long time for this match to take place. Man, this car is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Oh, an elbow drop. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Uh-oh. Ooh! But is it enough to end it? He might have it. Oh, nasty impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. He's looking at it. by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match, but what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. Nailed it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. He's too quick for him there. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Oh, this ends right here. Toe slam! Did you see the height on that one? That has got to be it. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torque. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ooh, that should do it. This could be it. Ooh, what impact. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He's not going to like this. This could be a punch finds its mark. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Wow, that should be the final board. Yes! Unreal performance.
Now let's take another look at these guys in action. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Here is your winner, the Ghost O.F. War. Big singles win here, guys. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing.